Hi everyone, I'm Steve Bird. I'm the program director for emergency medicine and I'm sorry that we couldn't meet with the career day and I've had a number of you email me and want to set up a meeting. Uh, so I thought I would record a bit of my recommendations and um, advice about scheduling your fourth year curriculum to match an emergency medicine. After you review this, I'm happy to meet with any and all of you at any time, so just please contact me. So a few things, about 85% of emergency medicine residencies are four year, 85% are three year, 15% are four year. So most are three years. What you'll get from a four year program is a whole lot more elective time um, and uh, more experience before you're in attending. You can get a job in academics or not, whether you do three or four year, although most places, if they have a four year residency, will require you to do a fellowship after residency if you come from a three year program. I would tell you about 25, 30% of our residents end up doing academics here at UMass and about 50% uh, do a fellowship in something. Let me uh, talk about board scores. Uh, there are programs who have a line drawn in the sand where you will not get an interview depending on your, um, if your board scores are not high enough. Um, and though no one will tell you what those lines drawn in the sand are, um, but in general, if you have a step one or step two score of below 220, you will have difficulty matching. Is it possible? Yes, but it may be difficult. It may be that you need to go to a place where you're not willing or really want to go. Um, either a less competitive program or focus on an area with a whole lot of residencies like Michigan or New York State. Uh, I will tell you our interns have board scores of 243 and 251 are the means for step one and step two. Um, so if you have uh, if you have average board scores above 220, um, you are very likely to match and probably at a place that you want to be. You all know that emergency medicine is now a required class at UMass. That class is ECPS. Our recommendation is that if you're doing emergency medicine, that you do ECPS the very first month it's offered, which is May. The reason is that will give you some experience and exposure to emergency medicine before you do your sub-I in emergency medicine and before you do the away sub-I that you need to do. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. So I recommend that you do the ECPS in May, followed in a month or two by a UMass sub-I, and then followed by a month or maybe two by an away rotation. If you want to do a second away, I think that's okay. It's not necessary. So why do an away rotation or what should you do for an away rotation? You should do an away rotation at a place where you want to be. So if you have a significant other that's in Philadelphia, you should do an away rotation in Philadelphia. That will show the programs in Philadelphia that you are um, committed to that and want to go there. If you have no plans to go out west, for instance, to California, do not rotate in California. Much like with rappers, there's East Coast and West Coast rappers, Tupac's group and whoever else. Same thing exists in emergency medicine that West Coast students, uh, we have a bias against West Coast students here on the East Coast and West Coast residencies have a bias against East Coast students so unless you have family there or want to be in California or somewhere else out there, do not go out there for a rotation. You should go where you want to be. Part of the reason for this is has to do with the letters of recommendation. And in emergency medicine, we have standardized letters of evaluation, which are called SLOWs, standardized letter of evaluation. Programs write these letters in lieu of a standard of a regular letter of recommendation. These are generally group slows. What that means is the program director, assistant or associate program director, clerkship director, and maybe others are involved in writing the letter and it's standardized. You can find copies of that on the cordem.org listserv. I mean website, c-o-r-d-e-m.org. Those letters, slows, mean everything. Regular, standard, traditional, rather, letters of recommendation are almost meaningless in emergency medicine. And the reason is, we know, we have studied this, that regular letters, traditional letters of recommendation are exceptionally overinflated. 
They are not standardized against peers. So they really are almost meaningless. Unless you have done research with someone and published someone and spent a lot of time with someone, then I think it's fine. Then you probably should have that letter. Uh, you need three, and you can have up to four letters in ERAS or ERAS. So you should have a letter from ECPS, you should have a slow from EP, ECPS, you should have a slow from the sub I here, and you should have a slow from your away rotation. So that leaves you one other letter. You don't have to have that other letter though. Probably about 30% of students who apply do not have a fourth letter. If you want a fourth letter, it could be either from a second Aboy rotation or someone who you really have a strong, close relationship with. Otherwise, those letters really are meaningless. So don't waste a lot of time with it. Um, the magic number for matching. So the magic number the last two years, they've not released last year's data yet, but the magic number for number of places to rank is seven. That is, no U.S. student who ranked seven or more programs failed to match. I'm happy to meet with all of you anytime. So the Associate Program Director, Sneha Chennai, or Assistant Program Director, Richard Church, uh, happy to meet with you anytime to go over um, your package and where you want to apply and how many you should apply to. A few years ago, Dean's offices were saying 40 to 50. That's ridiculous. If you are a very strong student, particularly if you do well in the sub-I, you need seven or more interviews. So you do not need 40 to 50 applications. It's ridiculous. Um, a very strong student needs 12 or 15 applications tops. Uh, if you're not a strong student, you may need 30 or 40. Again, the goal is seven interviews and rank all places that you, that you interview at. Uh, those are the major thoughts that help construct your, your uh, fourth year uh, curriculum fourth year schedule. What you do after January, February doesn't really matter. I would say do whatever you want to do, some things that you feel like you need some extra learning experiences, uh, but it doesn't really matter for your match. For other things that you can do that may help you um, be a, um, a bit more competitive really don't exist. Um, if you're saying, well, should I do uh, rotation in another country, should I do ICU, should I do cardiology, should I do ENT, ultimately it doesn't really matter. It's all, it's what you feel like you need. Programs don't really care what other rotations you do. So I think those are the major points I wanted to make. Um, my, uh, you know my email, stephen.bird at umassmemorial.org. Email me, I'm happy to meet with you, but I hope this uh, brief introduction um, clarified some of the things that will help you successfully match in emergency medicine and not stress too much about the whole process. Best of luck to you all. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.